Now we move forward to our next guest of honor, Dr. Rohit Dhan. Mr. Rohit Dhan has been in the tech space for more than two decades. He headed the division of IT as an additional dean at lovely professional university, India for the development of indigenous award winning ERP products. His meticulous efforts led to the establishment of Venture Pact to provide technology support to the startup ideas emerging from Wharton School of Business, MIT and Stanford. Currently, he's working as an assistant director at Ernst & Young Bank Vancouver, Canada. He has helped in planning and designing enterprise class applications and software for companies like Trans Canada, 7 Eleven, Disney, Bombardier, etc., using best practices on big data, cloud, artificial intelligence, and serverless technologies. Now, I would like to call upon Mr. Rohit to address the audience. Over to you, sir. Thank you, Indrakrit. Uh, a very good morning, uh, good afternoon, and uh, good evening to everyone uh, across the globe. And uh, a very special thanks to uh, Chandigarh Group of uh, Colleges for inviting me and having me on uh, with this conference. Uh, in the pre, just to correct on, I'm not a doctor, so I don't have a PhD. <laughs> I did start off, but I was never able to complete it. So uh, that's just one correction, but yes, uh, rest all the other things are all, all right. Thank you, Indipit, for that. And uh, let me share my screen and uh, we'll go through the a small presentation which I've uh, created for everyone. And I think so, a uh, lot of people attending out over here might have heard about the metaverse. Uh, it's something, a buzzword people have been hearing uh, a company which everyone follows, Facebook, we use its product. They have changed their name to Meta. So something which uh, Eva is also uh, kind of uh, investing some time and uh, doing some research work on that. And I thought it's a great opportunity. Why not to present Metaverse onto here? Uh, the, before we really talk about uh, Metaverse, uh, I just want to uh, like uh, talk about technology and from a very different perspective I'm coming through. Uh, like initially, uh, we have been saying technology is an aid that support business houses. Yeah, it has been very true and still it works uh, true, but now it is the other way around. Uh, technology is now revolutionizing and kind of are transforming the business itself. So entrepreneurs, those who are thinking about ideas or anything, they firstly think about the technology and then they think about the idea, how it can be actually achieved. So actually, if you are not, uh, like the rule is very simple. If you don't embrace technology or the changing technology, it will just render you irrelevant. That's the, um, the simplest thing which I can uh, tell to my students or all the people whom I interact with. So you must need to embrace the technology. And uh, what we have been doing with technology now, like before Metaverse or something comes around. So we have been engaging in different modes, like through mobile PCs or laptop screens or anything. So the first one was the text messages, then came the videos, and then we have emojis. And then now people are suddenly moving on to TikToks. Like everyone is going on to TikTok, have a TikTok video, do something, and then kind of a uh, do it for a funny thing or like for a business or even people don't know what they're doing with TikTok, but everyone is on TikTok. But now moving forward, what comes is the metaverse. That is the next one. And uh, here is a two minutes video. This is actually from Meta, the company itself, who is actually investing a lot of money into that. I'm not sure whether the sound is there or not, but this exactly demonstrates what metaverse would look like, what we are going to see in this is the next gen of internet or social or any kind of an activity what you're doing right now would be in a different sense. It would be something like kind of a universe, a very augmented universe where you can interact, feel or do anything. So I'm just going to play this video. This is around less than two minutes, but I do want to present that video.
Yes, so this is uh, exactly the vision of Meta, what uh, they want to really uh, produce with the next generation of internet, the social environment, whatever we live in. And uh, uh, the Metaverse, the next gen internet is not about like only seeing the screens or laptops or TikToks. It's, it's not about the snapping fingers. It's rather feeling about it. It's like you are actually there, you can touch it, you can sense it. You can actually feel it. You can actually like, even with the use of your gesture, send a message. So exactly it's a kind of a virtual stuff. Uh, the vision of the meta company for this kind of a, a metaverse is they call it as a living, shared, everlasting and a virtual universe. That's what they are calling it. And why they are calling because we are actually into that environment. We are not exactly looking at the screen. We are sharing some space. I might be sharing my home with someone. I'm actually like communicating. I'm actually playing a chess game with someone on a street or anything. I, I can, it's, it's just like sky's the limit for what you can exactly do out. And the meta is so much important for the next generation as even the Facebook company changed their name to meta. Everybody knows about it. They exactly did a full-fledged video. And this video was in fact a part of that uh, whole process. So what does this exactly like? It's technically an immersive experience where we can get together, we can play, we can shop, we can do so many activities. And how it is exactly going to be achieved is, it is going to be achieved with the help of a lethal combo of virtual reality as well as augmented reality. And Metaverse, like the Meta company is exactly working on one of the augmented reality and a headset, which can be used to experience that. Whether it is chatting, meditating, buying property, sky's the limit, whatever you think about it, it is going to be there. And people say, hey, we, we are leaving Facebook, we don't really want to go on. No, you will not be able to leave so because your friends, your productivity, your social life, everything will be on Meta. It would be dependent upon that. You cannot go without it. Even the companies are going to use this for their productivity. So what are the benefits of Metaverse? Like that's one thing. So like with the metaverse, you can like play games. The other day you can play a chess game on a busy street, whatever you want to do. You can express yourself the way you want. So for example, in current Facebook, what we do is we have a profile pic, we have a, a like a profile picture with some message. Over here, we have a complete 3D avatar, a fully 3D avatar, which we can use. And it's a living avatar. Okay, so you have the flexibility of like being taller, having larger eyes, you can be a different creature if you want. You can be a different gender if you want, or even belong to any race, whatever you want to do. So it's, it's all about your uh, expressions, how the way you want to represent it. And unfortunately, if somebody is disabled, you can even have the capacity to fly, right? You can actually experience flying, like how it exactly works it around, because you are not seeing a screen, you are virtually there as an immersive experience, you can actually see that. You can have a teleportation, like somebody is, attending a conference out there in India, let's say I'm in Canada, I can actually be teleported, right? So you can, I can actually go into that environment and I can enjoy with them. I can see what is happening. I can see that conference and it, it can be like, right now I'm just like all the participants, we are through the Zoom meeting. So just imagine if we can be sitting in one room where we can touch each other, we can talk to just like we are talking physically to each other. That's kind of the benefits what we are going to get. And one of the beautiful things which I like is set up a home workspace. So I set up a home workspace with the looks which I want and I can invite anyone, like all the panelists out there, I can invite for a dinner and only on the click of a button. You don't have to do anything else or not. That's, that's the flexibility the metaverse would give to us. And yes, what other benefits? Like time traveling will be another. You can imagine living with a dinosaur. I can actually see a dinosaur, touch a dinosaur. I can live with it. Googling information would be like an old way. You don't have to like Google the information. These screenshots, what I have attached it, they are the actual, like you have an object, you can touch them, you can feel them. Like you can do a surgery, like and practice a surgery, actually like how it looks like, how you cut it, how you see the organs or so many things. And one of the other things which what I really like about is your input. Right now is all about keyboards or mouses or anything, but over here, writing, touching, gestures, and even by thinking. 
you know meta is actually investing on to capturing your thought processes so that they can capture your thoughts and convert it into some kind of a writing by just like maneuvering your thought actions and anything and if like i'm just sending i'm going to send a message by just thinking about moving my fingers and the message can be sent i don't need a physical keyboard out there of course you can have that and of course you can have virtual homes you can get set their appearances their attributes and you can have like a whole economy like running sellers can be there with different type of experiences trying clothes you can touch those clothes smell them out and it's it's like a cryptocurrency would be one thing which would be used right now we hear about cryptocurrency we 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 like hear about news positive negative but it is something that is going to be more heavily invested with metaverse so these are the few benefits which are probably i foresee these are all conceptual right now but yes they are working on it and probably next year you are going to have the first handset from the meta company to experience these two things so the issues everything comes with certain issues also and we we do need to touch on those issues data so data is always an issue companies have been asked like how they are keeping up with our data the privacy is messed up they are actually reading your brain activity and translating your thoughts into action so what you can even think about your privacy right now right it's the privacy is messed up and uh, we are definitely going to lose touch field or real world things right so sometimes we 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 don't want because we are seeing a very virtual world so we might even imagine that homeless people don't really exist and then everything is very very easy and good and it's all blossoming right but there are few things which are still negative out there in the society which probably we will not and it's a threat to the society we live in because all the physical touch the physical connections everything would go away you won't even like go and meet anyone if i want to meet let's say uh, dr tejinder pal i'm not going to meet him directly i'm not i'm not even going to call him out i'm just going to ask him invite him on a cup of coffee in the metaverse in a the universe that's like very virtual in nature and then very lastly when you leave metaverse you directly come back to the reality where you are and what you are so you might be taller might be having a bigger nose or like belonging to a different generation in the metaverse but when you actually come on to the reality it is something very very different so yes these are all the issues which are there but yes everything comes with pros and cons and uh, i i do believe this is one thing which every company is investing not only meta all the fun companies out there microsoft google all the big companies they are heavily investing into this uh, even intel has committed a lot of like their own production of their intel processors into the metaverse something like that so but this is very exciting to come along and uh, i think this is what we are going to see probably our next generation or the next generation uh, would be getting into all this uh, virtual world Uh, fortunately or unfortunately yep i don't want to uh, take much of your time wanted to keep it very simple light and then what we can relate it thank you all for having me and uh, given me this opportunity to present it and in case uh, you have any questions or you have my emails or anything uh, please do let me know thank you thank you in the preet over to you.